Hi everybody, it's Jessica, the Dollhouse Curator, and welcome back to the Curated Dollhouse. So as usual, before we get into our new build, I wanted to give you a final view of our Easter-themed dollhouse. So in this one, I focused on Easter at the grandparents' house, so I put in a kitchen, a den dining room area, and then I also, on the very top floor, put in a living room so that I could highlight just kind of a family theme. In the bottom, we did a garage, and then, y'all, I did a full-on backyard with grill, lawn chairs, and a wonderful play area for my little toddler baby dolls. But y'all know me, we had to go back to our blank slate, but this time, I truly didn't blank slate it, but I wanted to highlight the foam board additions, and I had some stuff coming in for my birthday, so I just kind of upgraded the previous dollhouse. I had got this huge roll of green carpet so I put that in for grass on the bottom part and then just did a little quick maneuvering around so that I can highlight some items that I got for my birthday. So in this one we did a full she shed with a preliminary kitchenette and then we did a office. So I wanted to put in the office just so I could have a little place to display just a little bit of a few items and then also include a different piece of that kitchen. I did a small studio to start for kind of a fashion theme because I had a lot of clothes that I'd ordered for my birthday. And then I did a lot of really cool ideas such as this is this Barbie is a photographer or this Barbie is a foodie or this Barbie is a brand ambassador. And it was so cute with what I wanted to do. So we also kind of adjusted this dollhouse so it became a kitchen for my new Fashionista 212 who is my foodie doll. He's all about the food and pastries in the dollhouse. I think it worked really well with this kitchen and I added in some additional pieces so that I could get some display area for some of the new miniatures that I got recently for my birthday as well. In the next scene, I did a full fashion boutique. I really love this one because I got a lot of clothes and I thought it was great. I also did include other pieces of that kitchen to use in different ways. And this fashion studio turned out to be really, really nice. It gave me so much opportunity to highlight the clothes that I gotten and to display things, including some purses and shoes and just beautiful items. Down at the bottom, I readjusted the sheet shed so that I could make it a little bit more interesting and we tried to do a full four wall concept in the she shed so we did a small kitchenette on the side and then just a little table and chair and then I also did a couch but I wanted to close it in because I also had this really big piece of plastic that I thought I could use and make a sliding glass door and though it did not turn out perfect it was good enough and then this, of course, is my favorite. I did a full backyard so that I could, again, display some miniatures that I got for my birthday, but the backyard turned out great. I did my grill and some of my lawn furniture and my homemade cooler, which I still think is amazing. And then we also did some kind of colorful chairs just to bring in some color. And then on the back of the she shed wall, I used that as almost like a lawn area display. So this dollhouse really was not on the list to create. It was just something I did preliminarily just so I could display and have an area for all of my fun birthday gifts. But it literally became my favorite dollhouse. I know y'all are tired of me saying that because every dollhouse becomes your favorite. But also in the fashion studio, I did a dressing room, but I did wind up taking it out at the end. But I do have an idea to put it back in. And here we see the she shed with the plastic closed to make that sliding glass door and then the full backyard. And I think the grass was the perfect addition to this. I'm so glad that I found that carpet. Actually, my husband found the carpet, but I'm glad that he did. So that, that's it for this dollhouse for this week. I hope you enjoyed this one and y'all come back anytime to the curated dollhouse. Bye now.